Welcome to our stock market briefing program. Today, we dive into the latest economic developments starting with China, where the lifting of zero COVID restrictions hasn't quite sparked the recovery everyone hoped for. With retail sales stagnating and industrial profits taking a hit, experts are pointing out that private sector confidence is essential for any real progress. The government is stepping up with some bold measures, but will it be enough to encourage spending and investment? Next up, let's talk about the ASX. Following a surprising boost from the U.S. job market, which saw a significant increase in job creation, futures are looking bright with a projected rise in the ASX 200. Despite a slight decline last week, traders are optimistic about a rebound. However, Keep in mind that the Labor Day holiday might keep trading activity a bit subdued. And finally, we have some exciting news from the fusion energy sector. Mizuho Financial Group has made a groundbreaking investment in ZAP Energy, marking a significant milestone for Japanese banks in the overseas fusion market. With global investment in fusion startups skyrocketing, this partnership could pave the way for innovative energy solutions. Please stay tuned for more detailed coverage. South China Morning Post reports that China's economic recovery is hindered by a significant lack of private sector confidence, despite the government's efforts to stimulate growth. Since the end of 2022, when zero COVID restrictions were lifted, consumer spending has plummeted, leading to the closure of over a million restaurants in just the first half of the year. Retail sales growth has stagnated, and industrial profits have taken a dramatic hit. While household deposits have reached an all-time high, the real issue lies in the public's reluctance to spend. The government's recent stimulus measures, which surprised many, are seen as a response to the dismal economic outlook, but questions remain about their effectiveness and the need for deeper structural reforms to restore confidence in the private sector. Australian Broadcasting Corporation highlights a positive shift in the U.S. labor market, with job creation exceeding expectations and unemployment rates continuing to fall. This upbeat economic data has fueled optimism on Wall Street, leading to a strong finish for the week. Futures trading indicates a potential rise for the ASX 200 thanks to the positive sentiment stemming from the U.S. market. The report noted a significant increase in jobs, which has reassured traders regarding the resilience of the economy, even as the Federal Reserve navigates the delicate balance of managing inflation while supporting growth. The robust labor market has shifted expectations about future interest rate cuts, as traders reassess the likelihood of aggressive monetary easing. The Sydney Morning Herald emphasizes that Australia's share market is poised for growth, driven by the recent surge in oil prices linked to escalating tensions in the Middle East. As the S&P ASX 200 index anticipates a slight increase, the market's energy stocks are particularly well-positioned to benefit from the rising oil costs. The strong performance of U.S. stocks, buoyed by favorable job market data, has also influenced Australian markets, despite the upcoming Labor Day holiday leading to a quieter trading session. The interplay between geopolitical factors and economic indicators continues to shape market sentiments, as investors remain vigilant about the potential impacts on global oil supply and prices. Nikkei Asia reports that Mizuho Financial Group has made a significant investment in U.S.-based fusion startup Zap Energy, marking a historic moment as the first Japanese bank to invest in an overseas nuclear fusion venture. Mizuho's investment comes during Zap's recent funding round of $130 million, although the exact amount from Mizuho remains undisclosed. Founded in 2017, Zap has quickly risen to prominence, attracting investments from major players like Chevron and Bill Gates' Breakthrough Energy Ventures. The company aims to revolutionize nuclear fusion, a long-sought energy source that promises clean energy without greenhouse gas emissions. Mizuho plans to connect Zap with Japanese firms that have expertise in producing durable turbines and reactors, 
which are already utilized in experimental fusion projects. With global investments in fusion startups surging to approximately $6.2 billion, Zap's innovative approach using the Z-Pinch technique may pave the way for smaller and more affordable fusion reactors, setting the stage for a potential breakthrough in sustainable energy. CNN highlights the robust state of the U.S. job market, which added an impressive 254,000 jobs in September, surpassing economists' predictions and contributing to a decrease in the unemployment rate to 4.1%. This positive labor report follows the Federal Reserve's recent decision to cut interest rates, shifting focus from curbing inflation to stabilizing employment. While the strong job growth suggests a potential soft landing for the economy, where inflation is controlled without triggering a recession, analysts caution that a tight labor market could complicate inflation's downward trajectory. As consumer spending remains strong, it may drive prices higher. Investors are closely monitoring upcoming inflation reports, with recent data indicating a slight easing in consumer inflation. Despite market volatility linked to escalating geopolitical tensions, particularly in the Middle East, the resolution of a labor strike alleviated concerns over supply chain disruptions. As the fourth quarter begins, the stock market has shown resilience, buoyed by the robust jobs report and a cautious optimism about inflation trends. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of six do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the six do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize six do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.